run. Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for today. Uh, as you can saw my little video intro there, uh, I am testing the ice tanking shields. Usually I would include this information in my ice in depth guide, but uh, I felt there was a bit too much information here uh, and it warranted a separate video. Especially because I tested not only the ice shields, but hard light shield, dash attack, and the undercurrent personal dampening field. So uh, even if you're another tank power set, you can still kind of relate to these three tests because uh, you can use those as well. Uh, I should have done this as, as Rage. I wasn't thinking about the time because usually with Ice, obviously you're thinking of more of like a shield spec. With, with Rage, uh, you're not so much taking Dom. You're taking as much health as you can and then putting the rest in. Same thing as other power sets you're focused on your health first. Where with Ice, since you're focusing on Dom uh, because it's a shield base, I wanted to actually kind of break down... Um, what the different specs were and how strong the shields were it basically gives you a baseline but for the um for when i go fire atomic and earth i will do a comparison with uh immolation density and gemstone shields so you can kind of compare back to this one uh just for the baseline uh, strengths in the shields so essentially uh these baseline here these results here for the damage absorbed uh that is specking zero skill points in don resto uh that's no artifacts on uh, all I'm sitting in was league buffs and a full 262 elite gear tank set with the OP feet and the OP head. So still, that's going to be a bit high uh, compared to what your baselines will be. Same thing, I have four uh, health undercurrent generator mods and four times DOM generator mods, which is not going to change uh, in your testing anyway. You're going to have health and DOM for each tank power set. And then essentially the shield formula, which is the uh, shield cap is the base shield multiplier times by 112.5% resto and 150% of your dom. Before stat 3 vamp, it used to be 100%, 100%. That's why um, historically I expect more resto, uh, especially in the mods. It was resto and health. Uh, that was the greatest strength you had because you got more resto from mods than you did dom. And because they're weighted the exact same, uh, it didn't really, it mattered not what you expect, just how much you could get of it. Now with the scaling changes, uh, obviously there's much more emphasis on DOM and you'll see from the test below just how much it is. So basically at zero skill points, my DOM is uh, as before, so 12,233 12, uh, 12, and 10,247 resto. Winter Ward was 68k, Reflect was 36, Shatter was 25, Hard Light with Shield was you know, almost 74, uh, Dash Attack was 74.4, and the Undercurrent Potion of Consumable will stay uh, the same throughout, so it's going to be about 30, just almost 32k. Uh, not too many surprises. I knew Reflect was much weaker at Stat 3 Vamp. Stat 3 Vamp, uh, or pre-Stat 3 Vamp, Reflect used to be much stronger. It scaled better with Dom. You got the 10,000% 10, uh, bonus absorption as well. Shatter Restraints never was supposed to be a strong shield. It basically, it's your breakout, your group breakout. Uh, so it's just a bonus that's a shield, but you'd have to run it anyway. Uh, Hard Light Shield is very strong as well. It's a 30 second cooldown. Dash Attack is a supercharge, 25%, and it's a 1 second cooldown. Hard Light Shield does have the ability to bug out. Uh, what that means is, since Hard Light Shield is classified as a healer shield, or at least it was uh, pre stats revamp, it was classified as a healer shield. Uh, so it can bug out with the four man shields. Like, say, um, you pop Hard Light Shield and pop a Blessing or Bubble or Boon of Souls, Flux. Uh, those are the shields for the four man shields for the healer power sets. Hard Light Shield can basically uh, break or, or bug out where you don't actually get the absorption from it. Uh, so it's basically a wasted shield. But it's one of those things where you still need to run it just because of its strength in most in most power sets. Uh, but if your healer is not running one of the four man shields, I'm not sure about Tempest Guard. I could be wrong on that one. But uh, the healer supercharges doesn't matter. It's just the four man shields. But uh, if they're not running it in that case, then you're, you don't have anything to worry about. Oh, Swarm Shield was the other one. I forgot. But yeah, essentially what I did was uh, zero point skill points spec was by baseline. And then I basically went from there. So 100, 100 skill points in DOM, zero in resto. Zero skill points in DOM, 100 in resto. So you can kind of see the difference between 
the 112.5% uh, and the 150. So 74 over 72, 39 versus 38. Uh, reflect and shatter, you'll see them pretty close throughout. Um, the scaling doesn't really matter that much. It takes a lot to basically increase those base damages or base damage absorption. 79 versus 77, 80k versus 78. Um, basically, that's the difference between 150% weighted of 100 and only 112% weighted of the 100. And we kind of go down below, 100 skill points in DOM, 100 in resto, 200 skill points in DOM. Uh, so basically, these are going to be the important tests that I want you to see here, these three here. Uh, this is going to be more into the spec. So I, I didn't do 225 skill points in DOM just because see, if you're watching the video in the future or even when the new DLC comes out, uh, obviously the base skill points are going to go up to 235. So this would be kind of pointless. So I just rounded off as 200 which, uh, you know, doesn't impact anything as well. So 200 skill points of Dom, zero in Resto. So basically, um, almost maxing Dom, putting nothing in Resto. 77, 41, 28, 83, 84. So if I add 50 skill points in Resto, uh, basically I go up, I get an extra 2,000, you know, 2,200, 1,100, only 800, 2,400, and, and basically 2,400 again. So basically by adding 50 skill points in Resto on top of your Dom, that's what you get uh, in terms of extra shield absorption. Now, if I double that and put a, an, ex, an extra 50 in resto, so I got 200 skill points in DOM uh, and 100 in resto, I only gain an extra 1,200, 658, 454, 1341, and 1351. So basically, uh, what I'm trying to drive at here is resto seems to be given a much bigger diminishing rate of returns in terms of its specking. Uh, obviously, as much DOM as you can possibly get, that's what you, your goal is for ICE. Uh, max DOM your artifacts, your skill points, uh, generator mods. Obviously, DOM is king for shields, being weighted 150%. But in terms of the ICE, you want to think, well, I'm always using shields, so I should have my shields as strong as possible. But the way the, the specking works is you seem to get a much bigger diminishing rate of return. So if I put 50 skill points and double the 50 skill points, I'm getting half. So 800, 400, 2400, 1300, you know, 2400 versus 1300, 2257, 1250. So basically, even by doubling how much skill points I have, I'm getting half of what the actual increase of the absorption is. So if we go back down to our health, so basically I started with 68,134 health. That was at zero skill points, no artifacts. You know, that's just base stats. So if I put 25 skill points in, my health goes up to 71, so that's an extra 3,000 health. Uh, if I put an extra 25 skill points in, my health goes up to 73, which is an extra 2,100 on top of that, or 55,260 total. And then my health at 100, 76, or an 8,000 increase. So what I'm trying to get here is, say you put 200 skill points in DOM and um, 15 resto. So that basically that's going to be what your your extra damage is. From, from no skill points to putting 50 in, you get this extra absorption. But if I put another 50 in, I'm getting half. So even if I put 100 skill points in, the, the total absorption only goes up by, you know, like 3K there, uh, not even like 2K there, you know, an extra like 1,200. Uh, but if I'm putting that same 50 skill points, so a 15 resto, and then instead of putting 50, another 50 to bring it to 100, I put that 50 in health. My health goes up by 5,260. So your effective healing, not your effective healing, but your basically your effective survivability is much higher putting that extra skill points in health versus those extra resto for your shields. Because if you put those 50 extra resto in your shields, basically you gain an extra, you know, 13, 1200 absorption. But if you put that 50 in your health, even though your shields are a little bit weaker, you still have a 4,000 gap pretty much between what at the damage that's going to go through Winter War to what you could survive. So what's the point of specking an extra 50 in Resto when you can put that 50 into health to get you know an extra 5,260 health as opposed to damage absorption on your shield? So basically, that's what I'm trying to drive at with these tests and, and the way you should spec. Now, technically the same thing like say uh you put max out your dom put nothing in resto and then compare that to putting you know full hundred in health 
or even like 150 skill points or whatever. So it's basically 8,000 health for worse, uh, putting nothing in resto. I still basically, once you get to 15 resto, that seems to be where it kicks into the diminishing rate of returns on, on your spec. So this is where, you know, in, in terms of actual shield strength, like, yeah, you could keep putting resto, like 100 skill points in resto, 200 in resto, even with here. But even that was 100 skill points in Dom. So you can kind of see here, just, you know, even with the the 112.5%, the it's still going to be obviously better to have more Dom. So this is where I'm saying is, is even if you max out your skill points in, in Dom, and then you think you just throw the rest in resto, it's still going to be a diminishing rate of returns on that resto. So the, the best spec for actually surviving and, and having more effective survivability is going to be just putting 50 in resto just to get the highest amount of, of uh, return. And then after that, just put the rest in the health. And then basically you'll see here the difference. 25 skill points is going to get you 3,000. Then another 2,000 to 5. Then another 2,000 to 8. And then another 2,000 to 10,000. And then basically by the time you put 200 skill points in the health, if you have enough to spec there, you get an extra 13,000 health, and you already have your shields basically as, as not as strong as they can go, but it basically as strong as you can go in, in before you start to hit those uh, diminishing rate of returns, putting it at the extra resto. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, essentially, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show, go into a little more detail um, in my ice tank guide as well. But uh, essentially, what I can see here is putting max in your dom, putting 50 in resto, and then rest into health. Uh, that's essentially the best spec that I could find um, mathematically to give you the best kind of effective survivability as ice. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments, just put them in the uh, comment section below.